Filmation reasons, you're supposed to put 16 millimeter films through a projector at least once a year, just to sort of air it out. And I was thinking, and so many of them were silent. I thought, well, if we're going to put it in a projector, let's also turn on the light. And if we're going to turn on the light, let's also ha invite some people to watch a silent movie. And if we're going to invite some people in to watch a silent movie, let's do slapstick sounds and music while it rolls. And just so that I don't have to rehearse, let's make the audience do the slapstick sounds. <laughs> and even some of the musical <laughs> gestures. And so that's still my gimmick to this day. I show 16 millimeter movies, I do end uh, radio reenactment shows, and I make the audience help me. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and so far, they've all been injury free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll go. But you know, the, you know, who can resist the coconut shells for the horses, which I do have here today. <laughs> uh, and the fact that I went from silent movie into radio which was actually the way it was done. You know, when there was vaudeville, maybe you had a misbehaving percussionist, and maybe that was me. <laughs> and, but when vaudeville died out because of silent film, maybe then I joined a little misbehaving trio that accompanied silent movies. I probably wasn't in a grand orchestra in a movie palace in a big city, but you know, that's what we're, the big cities had, the grand movie palace with a big, orchestra playing prepared musical. But in a little town, there'd probably be a sheet tacked up on a wall and maybe a little trio that could accompany the movie. Um, in fact, the price of a projector went down so low for a while that, that anyone who had a good year on the farm could buy a projector and show movies in, you know, 19 and nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but then, when talkies came along, maybe I lost my gig again. But what was the next place to go? Because uh, talkies happened in the super late 20s, and that was when radio was starting to come get off the ground as a storytelling device. And so that would be my next good gig, good paying gig. And I, and I, you know, and I didn't even have to iron my clothes for it. Which is like, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. Um, and you know, my favorite radio sound man. Who's your sound person here? Is it Joanna? Right Joanna. here. My yes. My favorite and radio sound man is yeah. a lady. Her name is Aura Nichols, and she was a piano player, her husband was a violin player, and they played for vaudeville, then they played for silent movies, then they switched to radio, and in fact, she was the head of the sound department at CBS when Orson Welles did War of the Worlds. Oh. Now, mind you, she wasn't on stage doing the fun sounds. She was just in charge, making more money than those guys. So, you know, I need to share that with you, Lois, that, you, that I think there's a future for you. And Evelyn does our music, by the way. I know, I've had a chance to listen. I love that little keyboard. And I do shows on fun novelty keyboards like that sometimes too, I love it. And those are such great icebreakers because, you know, it's one thing to have a grand piano in the room and people are scared to death to breathe on it, but it's nothing, hey, what's this? You know, that's what's yeah. wonderful how to have a tool yeah. like that. Yeah. And they can do so much. So this is, you know, how I stumbled into doing radio drama reenactments. In fact, and the way I got involved with the play that you're doing is Signet Theater did a press release once and in little teeny tiny letters at the bottom of the press release was, non-subscription performance of radio drama version of It's a Wonderful Life. But oh my god, you know, I want to be in that show. And I sent them an email saying, I want to do the sound effects for that show. And uh, just as they turned on their computer, someone said, who should we get to do the sound effects for the show? And they said, how about that guy that did the sound effects for that experimental play? Bloop! And they were talking about me just as they turned on the computer, and I got that gig! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, uh, it was meant to be. And for that gig, I did start collecting a lot of period things because it's one thing to, to record a radio drama, and, and, and there's no shame in doing some push button sounds because even the classic people would put a needle on a record. Mm -hmm. That was not considered cheating to put a needle on a record for some sounds and, and music. Uh, but for this play, I had to have things that were more period chic. So someone was just complaining about your telephone, Lois, weren't they? <laughs> so for. I can see Ooh. that's the sound that we'll be talking about shortly, which was another problem that Lois was worried about. Oh, Joanna. Joanna! Yes, this is Lois. <laughs> Lois carried the bell. Lois has enough. <laughs> so, you know, I made sure that I, you know, collected things that looked period that would work. Now, the sound of a telephone is best represented by a telephone. Yes, but, you know, right. it's hard to find, and phones aren't meant to ring. Uh, when they're not really functioning as a phone. Hmm. You, 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 don't, you can't run current through it and expect it to run. But a lot of hotels 
would have these room-to-room -room phones where to temporarily charge it up, just do a room-to-room -room call, you turn it Oh, how great. Oh! But you know, the trouble with these phones is you need three of them. This is not my favorite dialing phone, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> this probably was, you know, in a hotel room so that you couldn't dial out, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Peter, that must have been a fun day when you found that. Well, the trouble with this was I was in a hurry because I got the gig. And then I had to have stuff, and I didn't have time to drive around and look for vintage things, so I had to go for eBay. Now, the trouble going with eBay is you don't uh, know what it sounds like till it comes yeah. home. So yes, I've got a three or four hundred dollars worth of telephones. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and I do have my favorite dialing one, which is not here. My favorite ring one, which is actually not this one. And then this is my favorite tapping one. Oh, uh, nice. That's so sad. Yeah, that hanging up <laughs> the and what's fun about the hanging up one is sometimes you can get the little ring to sort of happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if, I, if I swirl this as I drop it. That's what I'm looking for is the one that has the interior bill. Well, <laughs> uh, maybe one of my not so pretty phones you can have. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and something, another thing I look for vintage. Uh, you know, I just love the 20s and 30s. And it's so much fun to find salesman <coughs> samples, old school salesman ah, samples. Yes. Things that oh, were meant to be yes. displayed in a store. And, and I was saying, what does this say here? Instead of knocking, it chimes. Go ahead and pull the knocker as if you're going to knock. Pull it up. Oh. And, it, and there's no electricity needed. Oh, I I I and <laughs> now, I, I also have some, I don't have my little battery with me, but I can also, you know, you can also go to any hardware store and get buzzers yeah. and hook them up to a lantern battery. And this could have worked for a phone for you, too, because oh, yeah. phones back then weren't as pretty sounding as that. No. No. Uh, but annoying. There was we annoying had, as this kind of buzzer. We had the kind with the, you know, that the hung crank. on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. The yes. <laughs> and I, I bought one of those on eBay. And, and it, it's pretty to look at, but I don't know. What else have I got hiding in here? Let's see. Um, all kinds of novelty things to look at. Uh, uh, th there was another problem that Joanne. Two syllables, Joanna? Joanna. Three syllables that, that cost extra time. <laughs> uh, Joanna was concerned about sound of motor. Yes. You should feel sorry for her because that's that's a worse of all sounds. That was the one I was most worried about too, sound of motor. So what I do for sound of motor, and I found easier ones than this too, but for sound of motor, I, I have this little toy Tom Tom that came from a toy trap set. Mm -hmm. And I take a battery upper fan. Yes, it's not very vintage, Joanna, I know. And I turn on the fan, I lay it down here, and then I push it down in the blades. Oh, how great. But when it's mic'd, it sounds really good. Yeah. People always go, oh my god, it's, it sounds so good mic'd. And that's the thing about uh, real radio sound effects is that you're, you're, the microphone is very important. And, but for your production, and for the first time I did, is Order for Life. They didn't even give me a mic. That's how desperate we were and how quickly we put it together. I didn't even have a microphone, mm -hmm. so I had to make all my, all my sounds bigger than life. And, and uh, that was a good exercise for me to make it colorful and bigger than life rather than just going, what's he doing over there? What's he doing over there? We put a microphone. So if you're not going to use a microphone, don't, don't feel sorry for yourself. We will have mics, but we won't get to work with them before the performance. That, so that's why it's good. It's that's good. really hard. Yeah, it yeah, is. And yeah. It's, so it's, you, just, yeah. you need to make sure that your things are bigger than life. And Now, I don't have it with me right now, but I, I usually throw on top of this a little bowl. And mm -hmm. what's great about that is that does double duty for me. The bowl pushes the blades in, makes it sound louder. But also, when I drop the bowl down, that's the door closing. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Of the car? That's yes. the door of the car. But another way, and I left, this is in, the, in my other van, I think. You can also, Joanna, cost mm -hmm. an extra A, get uh, a gentleman's razor. And I like to get the battery operated ones because I don't trust anybody. And you can get ones that look sort of vintagey, but it doesn't really have to. But you could just borrow a gentleman's rechargeable razor. Mm -hmm. Turn it on and put that on top of a drum, or put that in a microphone, or put that on a table, and just the razor kind of going around like this. Right, right. Can sound very How smart. great! Yes. <laughs> How so innovative! That's wonderful. You have several of them. Yeah. Good. And another thing we can do is oh, I bet it's in a bag. I'm putting this up together. But it's in this bag right here. And now the thing is, I don't think it's terribly important that you be completely period correct. It's nice to do a nod for some things. Yeah, so I, I have big light phones. I get real carried away with period sometimes. But you can break some rules. That's a battery operated fan. 
ventilation system. And this is a rule breaker. <laughs> it's, a, it's one of those little vi vibrating plugs that, were, that you could buy a lot of times from a little cart in the middle of the mall. And then, oh, it's very relaxing. We should rent this out. And this also could be your, your motor. You can even just do this one. That's not so bad. Now, in my car still is my snare drum, too. I have a snare drum, and when I turn the snare part on, then it's more snary and sounds yeah, interesting. Yeah. Something easier, or even on top of the table. Oh, so oh okay. like a plane. It's not like they're, and it could be a plane. Like very much, a plane. that sounds more like a plane. Yeah. I agree, and that's something to consider. Fortunately, Joanna, the audience is very forgiving about sounds. If they're told what the sound's supposed to be, get in the car! The next sound they're going to hear is a, that's the car. And they're very happy. <laughs> That. <laughs> a lot of times, Joanna will just do something cute, and the whole audience will just break on her. Yeah. Well, see, that is, and that's the problem with being Joanna and being me, is that we can steal the show. Yeah. Sorry, suckers! <laughs> 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 yeah, feel free. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Don't worry about it. Just pretend Jerry, you don't notice. You get uh, to be in every act that way. I know. Yes. <laughs> now, Joanna was also worried about Splash. Uh, That's yes, the, yes. And that is the worst sound you can possibly try to do in radio because water and electricity is not a good combination. And a lot of times, yes, they'll do a splash with a tub of water, but you won't make a splash by throwing something into the tub of water. You'll make a splash by pulling something out of the tub of water. That makes a better sound, mm -hmm. and it's less of a splash zone. So like if you had even just like a, a plunger tied to a rope, you just pull up the rope and you hear the slorshal, slorshal sound, and you know, that's not so bad. Huh. But, this, you don't have time to get one of these or make one of these, but what you could do is you could just get, like, a, a box for an old board game like Monopoly, and then just fill it with little dried peas. Mm -hmm. Now these are little dried BBs in a drum, and this is, this is supposed to be Ocean Wave, which is not really a sound in your show. Ocean Wave. So, so for the splash, I can just pop it. There's your splash. Ah. And I think you could actually accomplish that just with an old Monopoly box and throw some dried peas or beans in it and, you know, splash it. I think that might work. Well, one of those I, uh, round jigsaw puzzle boxes, which is... Yes, th and that's, that's prettier to look at, too. <laughs> I have a second one. If you're in trouble, I'll give you my card. If you're in trouble, I have a second one of these that's smaller. Okay. That would be good for your, your production. Oh, fabulous. Um, now let's see. Is there is there another sound that Joanna was hearing? We were uh, the, the sound of a person talking on the other end of a phone. Oh, that's yeah. easy. Oh. Before I even do that, though, you know the 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 scary sound to try to do is the sound of Zuzu's pedals. There's no such thing as the sound of Zuzu's pedals. Exactly. <laughs> So that, and I'll tell you about your phone sound in a moment, but whenever you can't do a sound because it just doesn't make sense, you switch to a musical sound. Susan's pedals, Susan's pedals, are they in my pocket? Uh -huh. You switch to a musical sound. So you can have a little, and you could also change the script to see Zuzu's bell. Zuzu's little bell, and that, that's what they did with one of the radio broadcasts. It was Zuzu's We bell. added a line. Very good. What is that thing that you oh, just did? It's magic wand! Oh, okay. But, <laughs> but you know, you could even just take a, a, wire, a little wire hanger yeah. and it might make it. But these, these are so much fun to have. Oh, I buy them. But now, getting back to your talking to the phone, getting back to the talking into the phone. <laughs> come on, Joanna. Oh, great. <laughs> but, but see, this is something that jo this is not Joanna's problem. This is the actor's problem. Right. We have a couple of little things we've been trying, but yeah, that's Yeah, but great. what's nice about this is that if you did a good job on your makeup, you're not going to be hiding your face with this one. <laughs> <laughs> but you can talk into any, any you know, glass or mug. I, I like this because it's just a little funnier. And, and it looks like it's glass. It's plastic, you know, but it looks like it's glass. What's also nice about this is... Yeah. Um, <laughs> the most boring scene in the entire play, and it's not the actor's fault, and it often gets cut in our production, is a scene where he's in Potter's office. Oh. The second time when he's in Potter's office, or is it the first time? 
It's one of those potters office times. Boring! Oh, not numbers. Um, no, not <laughs> no. I'm sure you fixed that. <laughs> We've had to cut it because the audience gets all restless. It's just uh -huh. a little blood sugar moment for the audience. Is the the No, that one that's always stays is the, the other one. It's, that one's first. Yeah, so the second time he's in the potter's office is when, when he's in trouble. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. What, it, it's it's just, yeah, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work. And, Sometimes I'm glad when it's not in there because then I don't have my dialing phone because that's the only, only, only that's the only scene where anyone has to dial. Everyone else has a is in a house with a party line. You say operator, give me Murray Hill three or whatever. Ah. Uh. But Potter is a fancier office and he gets to them. So in Potter's office, just to make it a little bit more interesting, I for the transition I make there be a clock ticking. Apparently there is a fancy clock. Oh. But that gets annoying into the third or fourth minute of that scene. So then. Mm, oh, nice. Yeah. We and were ticking a too. pen, but that's so much better. Oh, yeah. It's just more fun for the audience. And then, you know, maybe with something, then there might be an interesting moment to make it louder. But you're just running out of time. Oh. I don't like doing that, because that's, that's a little bit too much. I want one of those in my GMT. Mm -hmm. Really quiet it down. <laughs> let's try it, yeah. um, Let's see. Now, um, how about. Oh, yes. Putting capsules in being put into a glass bottle. Oh, you know what I do for that? Uh -huh. Is I have a big novelty oversized martini glass. <laughs> and I put candies, I put candies in it. Just a little hard oh, candy. Little great, hard candy, they're very colorful. And then when I'm in a really bad mood, during the saddest scene when he when when young George is slapped in the face, I eat candy. <laughs> it depends on how mad I am at the actor that day. <laughs> is it is it a plastic glass or a glass glass? It's glass. 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 Okay. Uh, right. You know, and yeah, glass is always, is always the best thing to have on stage. But that, I'm sorry, it's an oversized martini glass. How can I say no to that? <laughs> that's how I take my bow to with the big horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's taking this. Don't show the actor. <laughs> There's only one actor I don't like in that show. Anyway. Oh. Uh, uh, hello, <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> uh, the famous Bobby yeah. whistle. Yes, and I prefer to use a Bobby whistle Thank rather you. than. You know, a police whistle, American police whistle, has a little fipple in it, a little ball inside that makes the trill. It goes, Brrr. well, this, that would freeze in the winter, Joanna. Mm, I know, I got uh -huh. one of those. So I usually, I like Bob whistle. Winter time. Because it also uh, seems, makes it seem older, yeah. like, well, that's not what it, oh, it maybe sounded like that back then. So I like yeah. using Bob whistle. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. And then I also have my favorite train whistle. Oh, well, that's better than oh, that. Oh, but here's the story, though. If they... If they pay you per sound, which they don't, I like to layer it with this. Sorry, Joanna Show. I like to layer it. Oh, wow. What, what is that? Did you make that? What in the world? No, uh, I, this, this is made by a company, a, a train whistle company. Oh. And it's a, just like a, a bellows for a fireplace. Wow. It's got a whistle. One of my whistles came out, but I'll fix that. Maybe I'll fix that. Uh, uh, another. What about crashing to the garbage cans? Oh yeah, just, oh, yeah. it's fun to get a to you just well you can just make a crash box which yeah. I don't have with me, uh, which is we have just, some yeah, stuff just, I can change. You can even just take an oatmeal container and fill it with nuts and bolts and things mm -hmm. and jump around. But it's just funnier to get a little trash can from the store that looks like an old school trash can. That's just mm -hmm. funnier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, something you consider. Well, you might have a metal trash, little metal trash can that looks like an old school trash can. You can ask around. You just have to. The more beat up, the better. Um, I've had a lot of luck with with my thunder sound. I can't find my thunder sheet. I love my thunder sheet. I finally had to order another one. I just can't find it. Yeah, but you can make a thunder sheet just, just with a long, thin piece of metal that's just shaped. And you can even just shake a piece of cardboard. And you'd be surprised how that can sound like, like thunder, a big sheet of cardboard. Yeah. But this is a big PVC pipe. This is a backdoor spring. This is a tambourine head. A remo. And this is. Oh, what's, gosh, that's great. And what I like about this is, I use it when. I use this uh, when the angel is granted, granting George something. Uh, uh, something. Oh, oh, I know. Uh, Clarence says something, and Joseph up high gets all mad. We well, don't have to get that worked up about it, Joseph. But then. What I do right when George has become somebody else in his hearing, <laughs> I stop it. 
it's so dramatic. And you can't stop right. a thunder sheet. A thunder mm. sheet just has to decay by itself. Yeah. Yeah. But this is great because it goes crazy, crazy, crazy. And all the says, hey, wait a minute, I can hear. It's, that's a oh, fun moment. Oh, that's great. Mm. What other sticks do I have? Now, if you had, you don't need a professional jingle stick. And professional jingle sticks aren't shook, they're tapped. So if anyone gives one of these for Christmas, Joanna, don't shake it like that. You look like an amateur. But you know, it's just so easy to just get a bunch of jingle bells at Michael's and shake them around. And the more sounds that draw my mind. Hey, okay, you know what? What about using um, shoes for walking? Because yeah, that's fun. That's fun to do that. Oh, I didn't. Violet. Yeah, violets. Yeah. Tick, tick, tick. You, yep. you need to borrow someone's sexiest stiletto looking shoe, stiletto sword shoe, and just use one shoe. Don't use two. Because when you use two shoes, it sounds like a horse. <laughs> and uh, uh, just use one shoe and you know and tap it along so they can see. You can tap it on a table. And so just like the, the toe, pop, pop, pop. It's not absolutely necessary to go heel toe, heel toe, heel toe if you don't want to. Okay. Uh, again, the audience is very forgiving. They can see the shoe. Oh, the shoe, that's my the shoe. They're, they're not going to say, boo, Joanna, boo, heel toe, heel toe. They're not going to do that. <laughs> 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 we were, uh, you know, we were, um, a tap shoe, tap dancing shoe. Oh, that would be good. That would be good. But yeah. if we're looking for the visual, if you gotta have a sexy shoe, because that's the whole thing. Is Violet? Probably... I don't want to call her the town whore <laughs> because she's not. I said floozy. No, sorry. <laughs> that's a very sexy shoe because she wants to get out of that town, and one of the ways yeah. she needs curb appeal yeah. to do it. So. Yeah, that's that's sexy shoe. Sure. Uh, this is just. A, I don't use this in the show, but it was in my car. <laughs> you and I should have to offer to bring something. It's my, it's my favorite cowbell. This is pretty. Mm -hmm. oh, more cowbell. Yeah. More cowbell. <laughs> and, and the show about bells. I, I display it often. Uh, I display a lot of things in that production that I don't necessarily use. And you got a lot of bells. I, in fact, I have in my car right now my orchestral harp, and I. I use the orchestral harp in the show because you can't have a show about angels getting their wings without a harp. I mean, really. We is, we just have some chimes. We some have bells. Little tiny she chimes. Has some, yeah. yeah. Something. Oh, little hanging vinyl chimes like yes. in a mold. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Those, are, those are those are excellent yeah. to have. Oh, that's also the perfect sound for shattering glass, by the way. Really? Okay. Uh, just fish them out of the top there. Yeah. What you do is you uh, find it for shattering. This is so pretty. Yeah. Because I have to shatter some glass.